Hi there everybody, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is my review on the Mirror Truth Lenormand deck. I've been asked to do, I'm quite honoured that I've been asked to do a review on this deck and I'm just going to open it whilst you're watching and to get the glistening off the plastic so you can see what I see and that is the back that's the packaging on the outside and then you've got examples of the cards on the outside side and you've got an eagle and it is by Sylvia Meissner Netzner and then you've got a beautiful box as usual you don't expect anything else from Scheider <laughs> And then you've got the authoress here, Sylvia Anne Marie Neitzner. Comes from Germany. She has lived near a small town in the woods with her dog for years, as she is herself taught far away from civilization and living in nature. I get the best ideas, she says. She has worked as a na nature ropath for the last 23 years. She spent 14 years teaching anatomy, physiology and pathology and 8 years researching in Egypt. She is an author of Genocides des Regenbogen, a genocide of rainbows. She has created custom audio waves and fractal art and she gives seminars and lectures. She has done research in frequency domain and has developed her own th uh, therapies that combine light, music and frequencies. She is a creator of the Mirror Truth Lenemann. Wow! And it's very direct, beautiful casing again. And this is what the cards look like on this side and they're really nicely parceled and you get quite a thick booklet now let's see I love Lenemann, you know that I'm a lover of Lenemann and I am from Holland and she's from Germany that's the country next door so how do you lay the in and interpret tarot cards or Lenemann cards yourself if you ask yourself if you can do it then let me tell you that the answer is yes. Again, anyone can do it. So she goes into that. And here is the introductory example based on three cards. That's the three card spread. That's the three card spread. And then she goes into the basic card meanings. And the photos of the cards are black and white and you get um, a meaning like the clover the clover card means good luck and success therefore no need to worry events in relation to the clover are to be considered short term because of because they occur within a four week period it is a good time for this theme inquired about uh, the card implies non-concern with regard to financial matters. Only a small amount of money is to be expected. Additionally, the cards stand for calm, happiness within. In a negative sense, something hinders growth or progress. Clover is like a so-called weed. It prevails. It is tough. It keeps coming back again and again. This is a hint not to give up and, dis and or decide differently. So that is a beautiful explanation of the clover. And you've got the house. And let's see what the back of the book is like. It's a 36 card spread. So it's the standard number of the linen one. Now at the back of the book, it's doesn't have any room for notes it just finishes with the last card and uh, photo credits the people that have made photos of the cards now. let's have a look 
it's really well parceled it's really great the presentation it's really a, a, a beautiful thing to the eye and let's start with the first card they feel good just let me separate them a little bit because once they've been pressed like this they usually stick together you've got an, a card in between again to, s to save the cards that's just a white piece of paper and the colors are vibrant I can tell you that now you most probably can see me flipping through just to separate them um, the uh, the deck is really sturdy it's really good it's not flimsy so let's get started this is the rider okay the rider and it's n the rider is number one now I, I don't know what this c number means it's a nine it's a six so we'll have to go back to the book because the rider is number one but I think this might be an indication to um, the nine of clubs or the nine of ones I'll have a look right I did get the uh, other uh, Lenormon deck out and it is the nine of clubs and I've been dis talking and rabbiting on about <laughs> this card and at about the number seven I could see very slightly it is very difficult to see whether it's hearts or whatever but you can see very slightly the, the, the heart in the back it's just there I don't know whether you can see it so it, is, it doesn't disturb the artistry that's really clever that's really nice now this is the six of diamonds because you can see a diamond I don't know whether you can see it but it's in the leaves of the clover number two then we've got the ship again this is spades so that's the ten of swords the three abundance coming in going on holiday moving home uh, going over water then we've got the house and that is the king of hearts the king of hearts then we have the um, fife the tree she's got an hourglass in it and it looks like the infinity symbol as well that's that I you see so many things and you've got um, a, a butterfly here you see, I, I'm looking at them upside down so you see also landscape more thing animals in the background it's lovely they're very vibrant colors number six the clouds sunshine is coming through after the rain and that is the king of fire wands the clover you can see it really clearly that's first time I, re uh, I realized that you did see something so that's why I'm starting all over again and this is the queen of fire you can see the clover again just un behind the queue transparent and then here you are you've got the coffin death it's very peaceful very cold it looks like winter oh my mind is just running away with these beautiful cards and we've got the nine um, and that is the flowers beautiful colors loving colors pink then we've got the scythe and it looks like it's the windmill in the back 
You can see she comes from Europe. The windmilling. Ooh, and we've got the broom, the brush. Rods, they, she calls it rods. Arguments. Sweeping away the old, letting in the new. Then we have the birds. And this is actually the front of the, the deck. I think it's really beautiful. And we've got the child. 13. And that is the Jack of Clubs. No, not Club Spades. I like the way she's done the, this in blue, the swords. Now, I, d I don't know whether I the suits are... No, they're not in different colours. No, the diamonds are here, so that's blue as well. So she's just kept it to open. 14. The nine of spades, and that's the fox. And you can see the fox coming out, or is behind her. Coming out of her. Magic. And then we have the bear. That's number 15. And number 10 of rods. Number 16, the star. The Eight of Hearts. That looks like frozen ice or snowdrops against the wall or uh, window. And then we've got the stalk. That's pretty. Number 17. The Queen of Diamonds, I think. No, Queen of Hearts. I don't know them all by heart. I just know the signs. Then we've got the dog. Looks more like a wolf. The Ten of Hearts. So you can use these cards uh, like uh, ordinary playing cards. You can read them that way or you can read the Lenormon Ray. The Tower. 19 the six of swords yep then we have the garden that's pretty I really think they're beautiful then we have the mountain the eight of spades to a number 21 and she's got a modern city in there. Skyscrapers. And then we've got the path, the crossroads, number 22. The Queen of Diamonds, the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the mice. Isn't that beautiful? I wish I could draw like that. Seven of Clubs. The Heart. Twenty-four. I love the way she's done that. The Heart in it and with the tree branches. Beautiful. The Seven of Jack of Hearts. There's no knights in Lenormand. It's only knaves. They call some people call them knaves or pages, um, and she's called them uh, king, queen, and jack. Okay. Then we've got the ring, and that's the ace of clover. The ring. Somebody's both sitting there. Romantically having dinner. It looks like it, it's in a park of New York or uh, 
in London or we could be in Rome that's my imagination of the Victorian London book 26 the ten of diamonds study secrets and we've got the letter 27 news let's see what's written here so lamb very tartan ferum quo rethre quo mufus omne quad non ex ferum that's latin beautiful number 27 I'll have to suss that out what it means okay 28 the gentleman the king or rather no it's not the king it's the ace of hearts and then we've got the woman and I love the way she, they, she's got with him she's got nature going through him and a park it's like there's a tree branch around his throat and with her sh uh, she's got houses as her hair going through her hair I think they must have been photoshopped but I like the greenness natural nature then we've got the lily the king of swords and then we've got 31 the sun and that's the ace of diamonds and it's also got a clock on it and then we have the moon also a clock 32 the eight of hearts and then we've got the key it's a keyhole then you can look into it and you see letters and the key and it's the eight of diamonds number 33 look at that key there you have to look really well I think this is a type of card that you can go back and you see more every time so these cards will give you more information as you get to know the cards for me anyway 34 and the king and that is the king of diamonds fish anchor and that's the nine of spades 35 and then we've got the cross 36 and that is the six of clover the six of wands I think they're really really beautiful and I like the way she's involved a church window with the cross it just gives me in the church steeples and it just gives me a feeling that you're not alone you're not alone I love that card and if you go deeper just underneath the window you see a man I wonder how they shake. Now, I already said that wood great s a stock and they really do shake well. I haven't initiated them yet. I'll do that with joss sticks or smudge stick. Actually they work very well. I like the backing. It's like a nautical star compass I like the way she thinks mm -hmm. she puts things together like the cards mm -hmm. will help you on your way the compass is also helping you on your way beautiful And 
I'll just finish off this review with a little reading. Okay, that's the card on the bottom. So we've got the coffin. There's an ending, a new beginning. You're in your powerhouse. Money, uh, also in your own power. Stay in your own strength, okay? There's also an ending, because it's the death card, it's an ending, but you've got the nine of diamonds. So there is a good beginning, there's an ending, and where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. And the diamonds are pentacles, so you might be getting a rise if you are reading for a queer and asking will I get that job or will I stay in that job then we've got the flowers somebody might be coming uh, from back from the past it could also be somebody uh, coming to with a gift it doesn't have to be from the past because it's the queen of swords so there could be a, could be a lady if <coughs> obviously um, but it can also be a man but um, the the queen of swords is uh, the, the queen of swords is here so that could give an indication of a Libra because it's a person card so it could be a, a nurturing type of person it could be a man with a feminine side or it could be uh, a lady that could be a Libra but don't exclude a Gemini and Aquarium, Aquarium, and it's a nine again, so it's an ending. So there could be a new beginning, and the, it's already starting to work. And I'm saying somebody from the past. Before I, because usually the flowers is means somebody coming. This is not the six of cups. Somebody coming, and it just started to work. This is crazy. It sometimes I'm still amazes me how it works, and I don't even recognize it but they just take over um, leave and go of the past new beginnings so it could be somebody coming back from the past that's what my feeling is saying now this card is the anchor and yes is the answer for me with the anchor and also it has hope faith um, and love because you've got the ring of a, a wedding band then you've got the cross when you look at it like that and that's the anchor so you're coming home to a safe haven and that's where you'll stay because that's where you've placed your anchor and this is the nine of swords so you might have sleepless nights okay but there will be an ending to sleepless nights because you do have an eight you will be coming back into your power 35 becomes eight again an eight with money and you've got the eight there so money is there could be something about money if you've lent money I would say you could be getting back this money but if your question was will I have a job or will I get stay in this job yes but it will have to be something to do with money this is the feeling I'm getting don't argue there could be a disagreement okay you have six you will be back in balance and this is the king of wants a cl uh, clover so um, he knows what he wants and he will go for it he's very logical he's passion passionate about what he he does he will fight for it he will he it could be with a, a, a king of um, clover uh, of wands and that the king is Aries so it could be with an Aries but don't exclude Sagittarius or Leo so basically is you will after sun uh, rain comes sunshine the sunshine is already breaking through there will be a new beginning because underneath that we've got the child be more playful don't be too serious if you're too serious you, you will um, get burnt okay you'll burn your fingers be more playful be uh, be serious in business but and go after what you want but also be flexible okay okay and 13 for me 13 means fellowship that is what it means in the I Ching 
I use all the kind of information that I can get and this is the jack the jack of swords so you will get an email text message or uh, a telephone call but don't fight walk away from other people's drama stay safe okay it's a good little thing there's a new beginning coming and a present could be the promotion okay well I hope you like that little review and little reading and how much you can get out of the Lenemon. So, take care, be blessed and stay safe and please show us your appreciation by giving us the thumbs up. Please share with friends and family. Thank you. Take care.